Hey, what's up everyone? Anthony from Mashup Math here. Welcome to vlog episode number two. So for this week's activity, we are going to explore probability by constructing something called an area model that's going to allow us to visualize all of the possible outcomes for a particular probability scenario. And it involves candy. Who doesn't love candy? So this is a really fun activity um, to do at home with your kids, in your classroom with your students, and of course students can try it on their own. And as usual, our philosophy with math education here at Mashup Math is to show you, not tell you. So I won't go too much into explaining the activity, we'll get to that in a sec, but I just want to remind everyone the reason why we like to use these kind of exploratory and hands-on activities when learning math and the reason is that these kind of activities help us to build a conceptual understanding of a math topic which helps us gain a more concrete understanding so with that in mind go ahead and explore your way through this if you make mistakes if you mess up that's okay the whole point is learning things for yourself now if you want a little bit more structure there is a free worksheet available at mashupmath.com in our resources section and that link for that worksheet is in the description below so just go ahead right there and grab that before you start if you want you do not need it um, you will need the materials that are described when the video lesson starts but the worksheet is optional but it does help if you want to use it all right let's do it
All right, so that's the activity. Uh, I use Starburst. You can use any kind of candy you want as long as there's some variety with the colors. But be creative, be resourceful, maybe something from the dollar store, whatever works. The important thing is that you have something physical to use to represent the scenario um, in a more hands-on way. And a final reminder, remember, let your students explore. Let them make mistakes. Hold back as much as you can. Only apply structure when you think it's absolutely necessary, but try to hold back. I know it's hard. I know you want to jump in when you see students making mistakes or when it looks like their thinking is not quite correct, but even if they veer off the path for a little while, they'll find their way back most of the time if you allow them to. So just keep that in mind. And finally, if you want to support our channel, we have a very simple request for you, and that is to do one of or all of the following things. One of those is to hit that thumbs up button and like our video. Number two is to leave a comment. Um, that's the most important one. We want to hear what you're thinking. Comments mean a lot to us. Help us to kind of guide what we're going to do next, what our next vlog posts will be, and things like that. So please leave a comment. That would be awesome. Third thing you can do is subscribe to this channel if you have not already. And uh, number four is to share this video on whatever social media platform you use the most or all of them. So Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, wherever you are on social media, if you could share. Our videos, our posts, that would mean a lot help us to broaden our audience and gain more exposure because that would ultimately help us to reach more students and help more students learn math. And that's the goal here. That's what it's been since day one. So we want to keep it going. So thanks a lot, everybody, for stopping by. Really appreciate it. And I'll catch you all next week.